Hello guys in the series of corrosion uh, I am ready today with one of the methods of protection of corrosion uh, we were discussing many methods to control and prevent protection what i am going to discuss today would be cathodic protection and anodic protection uh, sacrificial anodic protection and impressed current cathodic protection are two uh, subdivisions of cathodic protection and uh, another method is anodic protection now what happens here is uh, cathodic protection means you are protecting your anode from getting corroded by changing it to cathode right uh, you are converting your anode to cathode and how can you do that by using these two methods while here you know uh, just what i've written here is the same cathodic protection can be applied to active metals only because they are anode and they are active and they are getting corroded and here the principle is to force them to behave like as a cathode and how are you going to do that by these two methods while in anodic protection that is basically for passive metals but then you want them they are still anode they may get corroded so what are you going to do is you are going to use a polarizing current in order to uh, make a suitable preventive oxide layer on that so that you can utilize uh, the particular uh, metal in suitable oxidizing environment so let us go in detail what i am talking about is cathodic and anodic protection let's go one by one in cathodic protection we'll first discuss sacrificial anodic protection now here uh, one thing which i guess now you remember is that uh, you have to tend your metal to become cathode now how are you going to do let's see you have a pipe here this is what you want to prevent or let's say this is the ship hull here this is the metal you want to prevent or maybe this is the water tank which you want to prevent or anything which you want to prevent is your active metal anode what you have to do uh, what you have to do you have to put a, another metal in conjunction to it and you have to uh, uh, another metal means you have to select that another metal such that it has to be active in comparison to your metal so i uh, hope uh, when i discussed galvanic corrosion in my previous videos you remember that there was a galvanic series and uh, in the series the metal which is higher was active and was behaving as anode the metal which is uh, lower was quite noble and it does not act as anode so what you have to do is you have to select a material which is active to your metal that means which is higher in the series uh, from your metal and then what happens when you do that when you connect it to the more anodic metal what happens is when the corrosion occurs the corrosion occurs at anode and your metal is no more a anode that uh, you have uh, changed it you have tended to make a cathode why because now there is one more active metal which is in conjunction with uh, the metal so that becomes anode and what i'll call here it as sacrificial anode what it undergoes sacrifices on behalf of your metal right and this is funny to say that i sacrifices you please be safe yes that is what is happening here magnesium here becomes sacrificial anode it gets itself corroded but your metal remains same here also sacrificial zinc gets corroded but your metal remains safe similarly here sacrificial zinc or magnesium is uh, there and you know it uh, prevents your metal to get uh, safe so sacrificial anodic protection works on the funda that you sacrifices another material as make it anodic and yours will become cathodic this method is generally applied to buried pipelines underground cables marine structures ship hulls pipes water tanks etc fine let us go ahead with the second one impressed current cathodic protection impressed current cathodic protection cathodic protection uh, the here principle remains same that uh, you have to tend your anode to become cathode so what uh, you need in this system is one is the inert anode okay that is the cluster uh, of which you know they are connected together in often in the form of a backfill and then you have to have a dc power source then you have to have electrically well insulated uh, secure conductors between anode and power source and a secure and minimum resistance connection between power source and structure so this much you have to first set up you have to set up a backfill and you have to set up matlab you have to connect your cathode with that anodic portion with the proper insulation in between 
and then there has to be a source of impressed current. Now, what are we going to do with that? When you have an impressed current, what you will do is the impressed current is applied in the opposite direction to nullify the corrosion current. Uh, do you understand at anode, uh, there is loss of electron, right? And then electron flows from anode to cathode. Now, what happens is you have to reverse the direction of flow. Now, in that case, wherever the current flows, that becomes cathode, cathode right? So, impressed current cathodic protection is just impressing the current, extra current, so that it is applied in the opposite direction and your anode becomes cathode so, and your structure becomes protected. So, that is how it works. You just reverse the direction of flow of current. It is also very, very useful in case of buried structures, pipelines, tanks, towers, coolers. It is used in large structures also, large operations. It is helpful in safety in of your exterior surfaces of, you know, pipelines, ship hulls and jetties and tank bases and all. However, it protects internal surfaces also of tanks, uh, especially storage tanks and water circulating system. So, these two were the methods which were, uh, you know, cathodic protection. That means you are uh, changing your anode to a cathodic top. But right now, in the second type is anodic protection. Your metal is still anode. So, what are you going to do in this? This method is applied to those materials for which you cannot apply the cathodic protection method. Because sometimes what happens is the previous method which we have understood, which is a cathodic protection method, uh, that does not work with particular type of metals because in that case, they become passivated. So, what you have to do is to think about uh, another method and that method is anodic protection method. What uh, you do here is being an anode, you just have to develop, the principle is you just have to develop a protective oxide surface film on your existing anode. That's it. So, what will happen is uh, you just have to uh, apply the good apply that uh, you know here also external power supply would be there which is connected to your auxiliary cathodes and uh, you just have to apply uh, the external power supply that will help in growth of the protective oxide surface film uh, on the metal and that's how the metal uh, gets prevented because of that protective oxide film also we have to take care of about uh, about the signals and the current and all because if excessive current is passed then the passivation would be lost right and that will intensify the corrosion so that also has to be taken care of but then this potential static protection is also a very effective method and it is also used in stainless steel containers and you know carbon steel storage tents etc so this is uh, the anodic protection method for you now let me quickly revise uh, the entire method for you we were uh, tried to protect the metal from corrosion and then we said that there are two methods by which we can do it first one is by uh, tending the anode to become cathode and second one is being itself but then you use a polarizing current in order to develop a passive oxide metallic uh, film on the metal in cathodic protection, you can use two methods. One is sacrificial anodic protection. That means uh, you apply extra anode uh, as per the galvanic series uh, to your metal. That metal will become anode and it will sacrifices itself by getting corroded. And then your metal will become cathode. So it will be saved. Next time, whenever anode gets corroded, you replace it again. And that's how it goes. It always protects your uh, metal. And in impressed current cathodic protection, again, your metal was... Uh, uh, making it into cathode you were turning it into cathode why uh, or how by impressing the current you were just nullifying the current earlier you are impressing the current in the reverse direction so that your cath anode becomes cathode and it is this is how it gets prevented so i guess with that it's uh, call of the day i guess you're able to understand this type of corrosion and protection method wherein you're using current in order to help yourself out so if you have understood the content please hit like uh, that will give me motivation and uh, also please do subscribe for more videos mention in the comment uh, if you would like me to cover any of the topics thank you so much for now